Hi, my name is Dr. Tessa Gargett and I'm here in one of our beautiful UniSA uh, labs. And the area I work in is in cancer therapy and particularly immune therapy. So we're looking at therapies that boost your immune system to try and play at your cancer. And we work very closely with the Royal Adelaide Hospital, which is just two buildings down the road. Um, and this year we've started two new clinical trials for patients with brain tumours. And I am Associate Professor Lisa Ebert, also from the Centre for Cancer Biology and working on this project to develop new immune-based therapies for brain cancer. So the research that we do in our team really focuses on developing um, immunotherapies for brain cancer. So immunotherapies is a really new approach to cancer treatment, very different from the um, old approaches, things like chemotherapy and radiotherapy. So in immunotherapy, we actually teach a patient's own immune system to fight their cancer. Okay, so the title of this project is Developing New Immune-Based Therapies for Brain Cancer. It's been funded by the Neurosurgical Research Foundation. And what we're doing is working with the patient's own immune system to try and generate a new therapy for their cancer. So we take white blood cells out of their blood, we genetically engineer them in the lab to produce a new receptor. That helps the white blood cells engage with, bind to the tumour cells um, and hopefully kill them. And it's really exciting because it's a personalised medicine, so it's made for every patient right here in Adelaide. And it's, um, you can only receive it here in Adelaide and it's a first in human trial, which means it's the first place in the world where this trial is happening. So we're working very closely with the doctors at both the Royal Adelaide Hospital and the Sydney Children's Hospital. So the oncologists there identify patients with um, aggressive brain tumours, so tumours that can't be treated in another way. Um, they're enrolled into our trial and then uh, they give a blood donation. Now the blood comes to me in the lab. Um, I perform the separation of the white blood cells, the genetic engineering to make them this kind of superpowered uh, living drug and then I return the cells to the patients. So this goes right back to their bedside, the cells are infused to the patients and then they're monitored very carefully by the doctors to see how they're responding to their new treatment. And it was incredibly exciting this year because it took us years to plan and prepare for this trial and it finally opened in 2023 and we've had three patients enrolled and treated at the Royal Adelaide Hospital and uh, one uh, paediatric patient enrolled and treated at the Sydney Children's Hospital so far. So the research that I'm leading really is focused on the preclinical program, so that's done in the laboratory. But then what we're able to do is take what we learn in the laboratory and apply that to clinical trials. So you will have heard from my colleague Tessa already. Um, she's helping to run two clinical trials that we have running already. So these are targeting one particular molecule called GD2. And what we're hoping now is that our laboratory program will very soon in the future be able to improve the efficacy of these um, treatments that are in the clinical trial. So these are phase one clinical trials, which means primarily what we're testing is safety. So we hope to show that these CAR T cells are safe, but obviously what we're really hoping is to see some tumour control, some biological effects for the patients. So we'll be studying their blood very carefully after they've been treated to try and understand what happens after we infuse those CAR T cells. And what I'm hoping is we'll be able to increase the dose safely, find the maximum safe dose to give these patients, um, and then see from their scans whether their tumour responds or not. And that will give us an idea of where we need to go after the trial's finished, hopefully to a larger scale phase two trial um, where we can treat more patients. Uh, so that's one of our main focuses, but we're also looking at additional approaches. We're looking at ways to improve these CAR T cell therapies so that they really work for um, brain tumours in particular. We're looking at small proteins that can actually do the same function so we don't actually need to do the genetic engineering step. We're exploring different targets so we can make CAR T cells targeting all sorts of different molecules so that if one person's tumour doesn't express molecule A we can target using molecule B for example. So yeah just like to finish by um, thanking all of the supporters of the, of the NRF who have really shown a lot of support for our research over many years and it's really made a big difference. Um, we don't get a lot of government funding for this research. We really rely on, on donors and charities like the NRF to, to keep things going. And we really hope we'll be able to change the picture for patients with brain cancer in the near future.